It's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking baseball. It's the home stretch of the season. We've got a nice little deal, 15% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net if you use the code SCC. We're talking Brewers and Cardinals in this one. The Brewers are favored, minus 110, but it depends on the book. It's basically a pick em, a pretty even matchup here, with the total being set pretty low at 7.5. The starting pitchers probably have a lot to do with that. Brandon Woodruff on the mound for the Brewers. He's 2-5, and five, but he does have a 3.43 ERA, which is actually pretty good. Despite that win-loss record, he has 81 strikeouts and 65 innings of work. On the other end, it's Adam Wainwright, who's 5-2 and two with a 3.05 ERA at age 39. Still mowing him down. Scott Rickenbach joining us to talk this game. Scott, what stands out to you when you look at this one? Well, one of the keys to me, uh, for me in this matchup is uh, that had to take place today was the doubleheader and the Brewers winning game one of that doubleheader, which they did because that, that tightens the race. And so no matter what happens in game two of that doubleheader, we're making this recording, of course, on Friday evening for Saturday's action. And the key being that the Brewers did take game one, three to nothing. And as you mentioned, uh, talking about the record for Woodruff, poor record this year, but his ERA actually a little lower, a few ticks lower than what it was last year when he had the 11-3 and record. So the problem has been that the Brewers have not been giving him much run support. That's probably going to continue here because Wainwright just faced the Brewers a couple weeks ago in mid-September, and uh, he shut them down, two earned runs, only four hits, striking out nine in seven innings, and he's having a solid season, as you mentioned, with his numbers there and the five and two record. This looks like a pitcher's duel to me, and especially with the playoff pressure. You know, when guys are, we saw uh, a game on Thursday night, just as an example, the Orioles and the Red Sox. Game didn't matter for either team. Baltimore put up 13 runs in that game because they're at the plate, they're, they're loose, they're relaxed, they're, they're just swinging away. It's a much different situation when you're dealing with playoff pressure. And in this case, with two solid pitchers on the mound and coming off a double header the day before, I think the guys are still going to be uh, squeezing the sticks a little bit tight in this matchup. And we're going to see a pitcher's duel in this one, in my opinion. Right. I would like an under in this one as well. It's not my official play just because I think I'd like a strikeout prop even better just because both of these teams strike out a lot. The Cardinals actually have struck out the most of any team in baseball in the month of September entering Friday night, those games not included. And also the Brewers, second most strikeouts of all season uh, of any team in baseball. So I like both these pitchers to rack up the strikeouts. Obviously, it depends on the number you can get, but that's a another fun way to make some money if you can get the matchups right because both these teams, as you mentioned, have trouble scoring runs, mostly the Brewers. If you've ever bet on the Brewers, that makes yes. you a little nervous sometimes because they don't score runs very much, and they actually have a losing record against right-handed pitchers, which Wayne Ryan is a right-handed pitcher. The Brewers have a winning record against lefties. So they actually match up worse against righties, which is going for the under as well in this one. But I think that's going to do it for our baseball talk. Good stuff from Scott Rickenbach. Scott, thanks for joining us.